whenever I'm in need and I'm looking for help, God, you're always there for me. Wherever you lead me, I can follow you. God, you're always there for me. Oh, God, you're always there for me. Help me believe you know what's best for me. Feel it in my soul When you are in control I got one life to live and I wanna live it your way Oh yeah I do what I should do When you help me choose I got one life to live and I wanna live it your way Oh yeah I got one life to live and I wanna live it your way Oh yeah Lost and I don't know where to turn. God, you're always there for me. Wherever I go, you're always by my side. God, you're always there for me. Oh, God, you're always there for me. So help me believe you know what's best for me. John, come on, it's about to start. Oh. oh, boy. I cannot believe we're about to watch the last episode of Science Dinosaur. I know, after all these years and all these seasons, I'm so glad that I get to share this moment with you. Me too. <laughs> hey, where's the remote? Uh, I, I don't know, you had it last. No, 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 I'm pretty sure you had it last. Regardless, I don't have it. Well. Okay, what, what was the last thing we watched? Uh, I think uh, Mystic Quest. Oh, yeah, right, right. And I told you to turn, turn down the volume, remember? No, but then I told you to turn it off. Okay. Well, I, I can't see it anywhere. Do you... Where's the... <sighs> well, now what do we do? Hello all, I'm Brandon. I'm John. And this is the So-and-So Show. Put that down. But you, you don't know what the thing can do. I, I know, but that's why I'm messing with it. Who knows what possibilities I can no. unlock within. In case you haven't heard, we've got this remote control that is having some strange effects. Yeah, last episode it was fast forwarding us, changing our channel. Yeah, and we're not exactly sure what the limits are, yeah. so please put it down. But Brandon, this is a rare opportunity. When else are we going to have a remote control that with these kinds of capabilities? Fine, but we need to agree on what button to press, all right? Something without any physical distress. Okay. 
What about the closed captioning button? Okay, that's the button where words come up on the screen that, that, that help you see, help people who are hard of hearing know what we're saying. Yeah, right. that won't be too much All right. of an issue, right? I, I can't think of anything that could go wrong. Try it. Is that it? Oh, looks like it. See? <laughs> That's not so bad. Hey, this is kind of neat. Everybody knows that I'm in the zone, and my name is John, and I'm not alone. <laughs> hey. Hey. Hey! All right, this is fun, but we have to get on with the show. I agree. So, uh, do we have a guest? If that's what you want, pal. Hmm? Where's he going? What are you? Ow. Ow. Ha! What was that about? You told me to. What? No, I did not. Yes, you did. So, uh, do we have a guest? If that's what you want, pal. Hmm? I didn't say that, though. You must have. It was on the screen. No, but I didn't. I'm glad you agree with me. I don't listen to the words I'm saying. No! Huh? John, John, listen to what I'm saying. The words on the screen are not what I'm saying. Look, can you see how that's different? Oh, buddy. I think you rule. Ah! Oh. All right. Listen, you. I don't know who you are or what you're doing, but you need to stop Right now, I got a whole show to do, so I need you to leave me alone and start writing the words that I'm saying, okay? What, why, why not? This is, this is funny. No, it is not funny. You're just being rude and, 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 and selfish, and I don't like it. Really? Ah! <sighs> Wow, my name is Brandon and I'm a big baby boo-hoo, guess I'll go. <laughs> it's a weird thing to say, but whatever, <laughs> I'm sure he had his reasons. <laughs> well, I'm sad to go into it alone, but still, it's bubble story time with Kevin! Hey, John, where's your co-host? Oh, he left like a big baby. No idea why, but, but what are we talking about today, Kellen? Weird. But today, we're going to be looking at 1 Samuel chapter 24. And of course, I can't do this alone, so we're going to be welcoming our friends, the So-and-So Show Players! <laughs> our story begins with David on the run. Now, you may remember David from all the famous things he did, like fight and defeat the giant Goliath. What up? David was also known as an impressive harp player. What up? All told, David was a really popular guy. David, David, David he's, he's our man. man. If he, he can't, can't do it, no one can. There was just one problem. Saul was the king, and he, well, he had a little jealousy issue. What do you mean by that, that chant? Oh, everyone thinks David is so good. Well, what about me? Saul, Saul, he's our man. If he can't do it, David can! What? What? I see what's going on here. Everyone thinks that David should be king. Well, not on my watch. Guards! After him! It wasn't just the people who loved David. 
David was picked by God to be the next king after Saul. Saul was afraid of David and plotted to kill him. King Saul, we have been told that David is hiding in this desert. It's great. <laughs> no. Hmm. Let's go get... As I was saying, let's go get... Let's go get... Okay, so, uh, <laughs> we're all adults here, right? Um, I got to go to the party. So, um, maybe we could wait 10, 20 minutes to kill David. Got plenty of time. Mm. So, I'm gonna go in that cave over there. Yeah. Leave me alone. Yes, sir. David, David, David he's, he's our man. man. What's, What's next? next? He's got a plan. Do you hear that? I do. Sneak up on him, end it quick. Him chasing us is no picnic. David had the perfect opportunity to kill his enemy Saul, but instead, he cut off the corner of his robe. David, David, what's the deal? Put an end to this ordeal. Oh. I knew that I would. Say, yeah, I feel good. I knew that I would. I can't kill Saul. God anointed him to be king, and I have to respect that. I can't lay a hand on him. But don't you see that he'd kill you? If he finds out, we're all through. David knew he had to trust God, no matter what. So the next thing he did was really, really bold. David, David, are you nuts? I'll say this for him. He's got guts. Mm -hmm. King Saul. What? Uh. This thing, you have seen with your own eyes how the Lord has handed you over to me in the cave. Some of my men begged me to kill you, but I didn't. David, David, David don't, don't blame, blame us. He'll, he'll say we are treasonous. I said, I will never lay my hand on my master. He is the Lord's anointed king. David, rise. People say evil acts come from those who do evil. So, I won't do anything to hurt you. David. You a better person than I am. May the Lord reward you with many good things. And may the Lord do it because of the way you treated me today. I know for sure you will be king. And I know the kingdom of Israel will be secure under your Control. Bring it. Oh. 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 Hey, my back feels better. David, David, David now, now what's next? next? The political fallout is complex. You guys know you don't have to chant everything. Great job, everyone. Let's have a big hand for the so-and-so show players. <laughs> David had every reason to be angry. King Saul was trying to kill him. Being angry 
is understandable when you or someone you know is being treated unfairly. But what's important is what we do with that anger. You see, David had self-control, though. He knew the right decision was to trust God and let his plans play out. And I know it's hard sometimes to keep your cool when someone makes you mad. But take a deep breath and count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You'll make better choices if you could control your anger instead of letting your anger control you. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks, Kellen. (laughs) John, read these. Okay. The closed captioning has been saying things I haven't said. How dare you? Hey, nobody said that. I got really frustrated, so I had to leave and come up with a plan. I get it. Can you please turn the closed captioning off? Oh, sure. See you, pal. (laughs) Finally. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, Brandon. I didn't even notice. It's fine. It gave me an excuse to exercise my self-control. I also have one more card to read. You want to read it out loud? Sure. Reveal the question, exclamation mark. The question of the day is, what makes you angry? Mm, Big stuff obviously makes me angry, like bullying or when somebody's treated unfairly, but little stuff can make me angry too. Like, you know, if someone doesn't put cheese on my cheeseburger or, you know, stub my toe. I I know it's irrational, I just can't help it. Yeah, same here. Hey, we can get mad at something, that's understandable. But if you have self-control... Yeah, then anger won't turn you into someone you're not. Exactly. You know, John, I think that remote control is maybe more trouble than it's worth. Yeah. You think we should throw it away? Yeah, let's give it two more weeks. Yeah. Okay. Until next time, I'm John. And I'm Brandon. And this was The So-and-So Show. See you soon! Bye, everyone. All right, what do we want to... Which one do we want to do now? <laughs> Yipper skipper lappers, this wow 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 wow